as we neared the Spanish coast we came across a huge sunfish on the surface trying to warm up. It must have been at least 7 metres wide and, and just narrowly missed our rudders as we passed over the top of it. Kadeki's is a bit of a tease. It's the most inaccessible town on Catalonia's Costa Brava, but also it's most seductively beautiful. Put the two together and you can see how it's pulled off the trick of maintaining an air of a happening place where nothing happens. A place way off the beaten track that is a magnet for celebrities. However, the pretty Mediterranean location belies a tough history. The character of the Kadeki's, as the locals are known, has been forged by piracy, contraband, isolation, bad luck and the Tramatana this maddening north wind. The fates have not been kind to the people of Kadekis. For centuries in between, being kidnapped by pirates, they made wine, but then the phylloxora epidemic in the late 19th century destroyed the vines. Undaunted, they replanted with olives, but the trees were killed off by a freak frost in 1956. After that, the locals went into the tourism business, spurred on by their most famous son, Salvador Dali, whose presence in the town attracted a roll call of artists and celebrities over the years. Among them, David Hockney, Richard Hamilton, Marcel Ducamp, Henry Matisse, Picasso, Federico Garcia, Lorca, Mick Jagger, Sting and Shakira. To this day there is only one road in and one road out, and little space to park. In summer the police often declare the place full and turn people away on the edge of town. Of course they could stop them before they began the torturous 9 mile, 15 km drive over the mountain from Roses but they don't. Before the road was built in the late 19th century, Kedekis was only accessible by sea and it was plagued by piracy. Raiders would come and carry off a number of villages and then demand ransom from the monasteries that relied on these local people to do the heavy lifting while the monks concentrated on God's work. Dali is omnipresent here, every bar where he sipped his beloved pink champagne displays picture. In La Hostel, now restaurant once a favourite celebrity hangout with a wild boho reputation, pictures of Gala and Salvador Dali and Marcel Ducamp hang beside photos of Keith Richards, Sting and Shakira. It is here that Dali once allegedly cajoled Jagger, some believe it was probably Richards, into an impromptu performance of satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> 